So inside this document here, the broadcasting tips that I updated, I talk about using the shift plus the windows key plus the arrows to toggle between my two different monitors, which you guys don't see, but I'm gonna show you a screenshot. And so in here, I put, see one of my layout examples here because I have a screenshot from another training I've been putting together. So on my desktop right now, I have two monitors. So this only applies if you have dual monitors, but a lot of people say, I wish we could see over your shoulder what you see. So I, hopefully this helps. <laughs> it's not exactly you looking over my shoulder, but up here is um, what I'm demonstrating right now. So what you guys are viewing, that's my monitor one. And so when I'm in the control room over here, the Google control room, when I hit share and it asks me, what do I wanna share? I'm gonna say screen one. And so screen one is what you guys are seeing. Now over on monitor two, which is what I'm looking down here below, because this is exactly how I have mine. I've got my desk right here, and my monitor on my desk, and then I have a monitor up higher, like on a little shelf um, behind my laptop, and it's just sitting there so I could see it. And that's what I'm looking at going through this. But down here, I can look to see questions coming in while you guys are asking. This is the little, um, so when I go to broadcast, I choose presenter view. So when I click presenter view, this little box pops up and then I can either drag it down to monitor two because it'll pop up with the presentation. I'll drag it down or hit the shift windows key and the arrow to bring it down here because you guys don't need to see that, I do. But here I can click uh, next and previous so I can toggle between the next slide. And if I have any notes, I can read them and I know what's coming next. It'll tell me here's what's coming next. I know what to say. I go so far as to insert little arrows and squares when I know that that's in my presentation, like click here and then I have like a finger. It tells me that that's next. I never used to do that, but I'm a lot more organized than I was in the past. Now I do that so that I have you know a platform for things. And then I also have my broadcasting window open here, which is where I click start and stop here to start the broadcast and stop the broadcast. Let's me know I'm live. I can see how many viewers are on with me. Like right now I'm looking and we have six viewers online live right now. And so it tells me that, um, but it also just confirms that what I'm showing in monitor one is coming through. So that way, if I do something else, I don't have to go back to the app to see what you guys are viewing whatever you see in your control room that's what you're sharing so if i'm on camera and i'm showing my face that will show here so this is almost just like a just a control room it tells me what people are seeing it's the playback um and it tells me how many viewers and all that and then i could have this as another tab with the comments if i'm just reading it now if i want you guys to see the comments what i normally would do is i would just go full screen with this i click the little you know square button up here to make this my whole screen and then i would do this shift plus the windows key plus the arrow key to just bounce it over to here so then you would see that so i'm actually going to do that right now i'm going to pull up you guys don't see me doing this but on my other screen here i've got my comments and i'm just going to toggle it into monitor two and a lot of people ask me like how did you do that so that was my first you know that had come up and so i thought well let me share that on today's call so let me know if you have questions about that um let me show it to you one more time before i close it so take a look at that and then let me know if you have questions in the group i'm going to close this out there we go i'm just going to exit out now i can just toggle back and forth between you know here and if i had a presentation i would just go back to my presentation and then on my end i'm i'm doing like here's the previous slide so I know now I'm screen sharing. This is just a placeholder for me. And I know to switch over to screen sharing. When you're talking about the upper right portion of monitor two, you said something about putting hints like click here. Yeah, I will definitely repeat that. So in my actual presentation, so here's what comes up, right? This box comes up and I just, um, I can drag it, which is what I just did. But I could also, when I hit the shift window arrow, it moves it back down to where it was so now i'm going to just bring it back so what i do it also times it for me right but let's say i had on one of these and maybe i have some old notes somewhere i don't know that i do i don't have any in here and i don't want to launch another presentation but on the actual slide of it um let's see i'll actually let me close that I'm going to, oh, and it takes me back to how far I went. I'm going to hit exit. 
because what that's going to do is it gets me back here. But let's say I had um, here where this arrow, I wanted to appear after I clicked. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to view animations and it's different in PowerPoint, but I recommend Google because they all communicate with each other. If you're going to be running a hangout using Google, uh, YouTube is, you know, Google owns YouTube, then you probably want to use Chrome browser. You probably want to use Google slides, all that, because you know, they're all going to be compatible. So um, not that you can't use PowerPoint if that's your preference, but um, I highly recommend doing it this way. And so that's what I usually teach. But let's say I wanted, I'm talking about this and I want this arrow to show up. You know, I just want it to appear when I click and I have to slide this all the way over to, you know, I don't want it to be delayed. So I want it to appear when I click. That's an animation. I have one animation. So I can say here, when an arrow comes in, I could just do, a, I could enter it like a character and I'll just select an arrow. And you can actually, if you want to find an arrow, because there's like emojis, there's all kinds of stuff, you know, symbols you can add and stuff, right? <laughs> but if you wanted to find like, well, I want an arrow that's pointing down like this. Where can I find that? You can draw something and it'll show you, we have this one, is that what you want? Or this one, so this one looks more like what I'm trying to do. So that's what I put here. And so I'll say something like, um, you know, new, um updates you know to the plugin and so i'll talk about that and then i know that then i need to advance my slide because then the arrow is going to come up and i can say over on the left right and so then i say something now and i can get fancy like if it's yellow i can go in here and say okay it's the yellow arrow i mean you don't have to do all that right <laughs> But what I'm seeing, you can't even see it here, but, um, and now I want to present this in presenter view. I'm going to switch this over to speaker notes and I'm just going to bring it down. But what I know now is what you guys don't see me doing down on the next monitor. I'm reading this and I'm saying over. Okay. So there's new updates to the Facebook plugin. And then I, this is my cue to hit next and it doesn't change the slide, but what it does is it brings in the arrow. Over on the left side, da, da 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 da, and I can hit next again if I had, you know, another arrow coming in over here, and it, that would be my next line saying, I'd put an arrow and say, and then over on the right. And so I, this is kind of like my guide that tells me how to do my presentation. Like I said, I never used to do this before. Like everything I did was on the fly, and you know, that's how I did it for years. I never had notes. I just knew what I was going to say, and I talked about it. The problem was, is when you try to scale your business and you want to hire people or you want, you need help, help with something, or let's say, you know, I'm sick and I, I, or I want to travel, there's no direction for somebody to come in and take over for me because it's all in my head. And that was a big wake up call that I had towards like the end of 2015, which I spent all of last year, you know, preparing my business to, to scale and, and to be able to bring on team members and all of that. So that's why I do it now. And why I never did it before, but that hopefully that answers your question about that. Another cool thing about that is I can tell how long I've been on if I hit if I start this right at the beginning, which I did. But since I closed it, reopened it, and closed it, and reopened it, it, it restarts again. But that's another benefit of doing this. So it'll it'll pop up here. This is what it'll look like. Um, I'll hit pause. I'll go here. And then I'll drag it down to my other monitor. And then just before I start, I'll hit resume and that'll start the counter. And then I'll just start talking, but this will tell me what to say. So that's, that's cool for those of you who are presenting. So I'm going to actually kind of go through all these really quick. And we'll come back to do the brain, brain game after I do my little screen sharing here. Great question though. And hopefully that answered it.